In this video, we're going to learn about the creaming method. In all of our baking methods, our first step is going to be to start with properly scaled ingredients, which I have here. To begin our creaming method, I'm going to start by adding room temperature fat into my mixer. Uh, I'm using butter today. Uh, shortening is uh, also another fat that could be used, uh, or even lard. I'm now gonna mix my fat just to get it broken down a bit, using about a medium speed on my mixer. All right, I'm now gonna add my sugar to my fat. I'm gonna start the speed on uh, about a low or medium low just to get it all combined and then I'm going to uh, push it up to about a medium uh, to get our, our creaming going. So if you can see down into the bowl, my fat and my sugar are starting to cream together, but it's still looking uh, kind of chunky, uh, very grainy with that sugar there. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to allow this to cream. The texture and color of this is gonna change. We're using butter, so there's a little bit of a, a yellow hint to it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and cream this. We're gonna incorporate air uh, so it's going to expand in volume, the color is going to lighten, and the, the texture is going to lighten well. It's going to become a much smoother uh, product. Um, so we're going to go ahead and turn this mixer back on and allow this to cream. It's going to take probably three to five minutes. Uh, so once this is creamed, we'll check back in and go on to our next step. So it's been about three minutes of mixing at a medium speed, uh, and our uh, fat and sugar are creamed well together. Go ahead and pull some of this up. Okay. So as you can see, uh, we have a much smoother consistency. We also have uh, that lighter color. It's much more uh, fluffy looking, and this is exactly what we want to see uh, for our creamed fat and sugar. So our next step is going to be to incorporate the eggs. What's going to be important when incorporating the eggs is we're going to incorporate them in batches. Uh, so I'm going to incorporate them about one egg at a time. I'm going to turn my mixer off. I'm going to add the egg in. I'm going to turn it back on, let it incorporate, turn it off, add it back in. Uh, and I'm going to incorporate it, like I said, about one egg at a time. Uh, this is going to be important uh, so that my uh, my eggs don't curdle. Um, if we add them all in at once, uh, they may not combine well, so we'd end up with this kind of chunky looking mixture at the end instead of the nice smooth mixture that I'm gonna show you once we're done. Add in my one egg. So you can see down into the bowl that the, uh, the mixture uh, has incorporated well. It doesn't look stringy or greasy uh, or watery. Uh, it looks like a nice fluffy uh, base, which is exactly what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my second egg. Uh, 
And if you look now down into the bowl, you can see that uh, it is looking a little bit uh, kind of chunky and watery, maybe greasy. Um, this means that I need to mix more, right? I wouldn't want to stop now and add in my next egg. I want to really make sure I, I mix this uh, until it's well incorporated like we saw before. All right, at this point, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna drop my bowl down. I'm just gonna scrape down the paddle, the sides of my bowl, along the bottom of the bowl. And this is just gonna help make sure that I have a nice, uh, well-combined mixture, okay, that I'm getting all those eggs mixed in with that creamed base that I made, instead of having uh, some of that cream base stuck to the side or bottom of the bowl. Bowl back up, add in my next egg. And my last egg. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just take this bowl off so I can give you a good shot of what we're looking for here. I'm also gonna take this opportunity to give my bowl and my paddle a nice scrape. Sides of that bowl nicely okay, into the bottom. Make sure I have all that creamed base and then my eggs mixed well together. Okay. And you can see here this really nice, light, fluffy uh, mixture that I've made with my creamed fat and sugar and now my eggs. And this is exactly what I want. Notice it doesn't look soupy, it doesn't look greasy, it doesn't look stringy. It's this nice, light, fluffy mixture. Uh, and that is going to uh, be exactly what we're looking for, uh, for the base for our creamy method. It's gonna add a uh, nice air uh, and uh, provide some leavening into uh, our product. Okay, so go ahead and scrape this all off. Get this set back. Okay, so our next step is we're going to uh, add our dry and liquid ingredients. Uh, so I have all of my uh, dry ingredients, uh, which includes uh, my flour and my salt and my uh, baking powder um, mixed together here and sifted. And then I have my uh, liquid ingredients. In this case, we're using milk and uh, our vanilla extract is also included in our um, liquid ingredient. So I'm going to add these ingredients uh, in turn, uh, starting and ending with my dry. So this ratio uh, that I'm using uh, wants uh, four additions of dry ingredients and three additions of liquid. So it'll be dry, wet, dry, wet, dry, wet, dry, starting and ending with dry. Uh, for each addition, I'm going to stop the mixer, add about a quarter of my dry, or a third of my liquid, turn the mixer back on until it's well, mix until it's well incorporated, and then repeat. All right, so let's get started. 
going to start by adding just approximately a quarter of my dry ingredients. Notice I'm mixing on a pretty slow speed here as well. Um, I don't want all that uh, dry ingredient to plume up out of the bowl. Okay, so a nice slow addition is going to help uh, get that well incorporated. All right, my dry ingredients are incorporated. I'm going to add approximately a third of my wet ingredients. Another quarter of my dry. It's all well combined. Okay. Third of my liquid. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape down the sides of my bowl just to make sure that there's nothing stuck on the sides or bottom of the bowl. This is just gonna help ensure even mixing. quarter of my dry. I'm going to add my last addition of my wet. And I'm going to scrape down the side of my bowl just one more time before I add my last addition, my dry ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and add my last addition of my dry ingredients.
Okay, and you can see I have my lovely light and fluffy uh, cake batter using my creaming method. There's no lumps. Uh, it incorporated all that air from that nice cream we developed. It doesn't look curdled because we added uh, the eggs in our small batches and then our milk and our flour uh, in our small batches. And this is exactly what we wanted to see. Let's review. First, we're going to begin our creaming method by creaming together the fat and sugar until the base becomes light and fluffy. Next, we're going to slowly add our eggs into our creamed base, one egg at a time, to ensure that the eggs don't curl. Finally, we're going to alternate adding our dry and wet ingredients, starting and ending with our dry. 